Hey everyone, welcome to Meeple Bits. Thanks for joining me today. In today's episode of Tabletop Simulator, we're going to go through the game Sagrada. This one is a community created mod, so it is available in the Steam Workshop. Links in the description below. This one's simply titled Sagrada Scripted by user Red Inferno. As always with the Tabletop Simulator series, we're not going to do an extensive how to play or dive much into the rules but more so focus on what is scripted for you and then what you, the users, are gonna to have to manage, maintain, and control on your own. So with that, let's jump right in. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tabletop Simulator and Sagrada. So uh, before we begin, and I don't typically do this for these versions, but I am gonna address a solo version of this uh, script and setup and then show you the, I guess what I would call, normal version of play. So. To begin, go ahead and just take a seat anywhere at the table. I've selected blue for this one, and then just select Start Game. From there, you're going to select a difficulty um, uh, from easy to very hard with how many available tools are, are there for you to choose from. So like, let's say we just want to use a four tool setup. It'll go through, divvy out the, uh, the four uh, tool cards, and then you're ready to begin play. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and reboot, redo the setup. I'm going to force my table mate to take a seat over here at the red color. So where do we begin with Sagrada? Well, to start, let's take a quick look at the components. In the middle, we got the round track. We got your favor tokens and then the dice bag, a book of rules, the different cards, uh, tools, and um, I guess stained glass windows that are available to use during the game, and then of course the nice table. So when you're ready, all players go ahead and take a seat, and then once you've done that, just click this button, start game. What it's going to do from there is it's going to deal out the uh, number of um, you know objectives that you can choose from, uh, the number of tools and available uh, scoring conditions. Now, the assets in this particular one are not two-sided like you would find in the actual game of Sagrada. So in a, the game, instead of dealing you out just uh, two glasses dual-sided to choose from, you get four to choose from, thus making it <laughs> two for two-sided. So what you want to do on your turn is go ahead and look at the different ones that you want to use and then bring them into play and then discard the remaining ones. Now, in this version, there is no real area for uh, you know, discarding. I'm going to go ahead and just drag one out for my, for my table mate. There's no real area for discarding, so I just kind of throw them off to the side, willy-nilly, right? So from here, once all players have uh, selected what they want to do, one recommendation that I'm going to make for you is to rotate the, um, the, the card that you have in your hand. Because you'll notice here for the scoring conditions, it's a four vertical by five horizontal, which is also how the board game is uh, naturally set up. But when you bring these cards out in front of you, it's a five horizontal, four vertical. So I do suggest hitting that Q or E key so that you can um, line it up better, right? And then once you've done that, uh, I'm gonna do it for my table mate, there we go. I'll go ahead and click the button on the card, which allows you to then take the number of favor as indicated. It's then gonna automatically deal out the favor that you'll be able to use during the course of play. And that's it. Once you're ready to begin, uh, go ahead and hit this start round button. What that's gonna then do for you is, in accordance to the rules and the number of players at the table, it's gonna uh, grab the dice out of the bag, number of players, time two, plus one. So clicking start round one, it's gonna bring out in a two player game, five dice. From here, you wanna go ahead and grab them and manually roll them, right? So it doesn't pull them out and kind of shuffle them up or roll them for you. I, I like using the R key personally. So we'll give them a, a good shuffle and then everything he from here is mostly manual for you, but the in-between rounds will be done for you. So it'll grab out the next set of dice that are required and you're going to take your turns as normal. So, for example, let's say on my turn, I you know, just kind of grab this uh, die, put it right. Ooh, no, that's actually probably a bad move. Um, you know, let me, let me grab this blue one, start up in this corner. And then my table mate, they're going to grab, say, this 
one die here, and then they're going to grab... Uh, well, no, no real good ones for them to pick from there. So actually, let's let's say they put that one up here, and then they put this one right here, right? So they get two, and it kind of snakes, right? And then it's going to come back to me, and I'm going to take my turn and just say drop this one right here. Then put this on the board to indicate the remaining die. Once you've taken your turns, click start round two. It's then going to draft out the next set of dice for their game of play. And then round and round you're going to go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward, right? I'm going to just start round five, start round six, start round seven, start round eight, start round nine. And the game is played over 10 rounds, right? Start round 10, and that's it. Game is over after round 10. But one thing that's grossly missing from this particular mod is endgame scoring. You're kind of on your own for this one, guys. You're going to have to basically grab a pad and paper, calculator, what have you, and then score up your, your different uh, window panes in accordance to the scoring objectives. So there is none of that done for you in this particular version. So anyway, guys, I hope that helps you with this particular version of Sagrado and Tabletop Simulator. If you have any questions about it, please leave a comment in the description below. I'm definitely happy to help out as best as I can. If you've enjoyed the video and enjoy the content, uh, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I definitely appreciate the support. And as always, until next time, thanks so much for watching.